it's Reagan and today I'm here to do a video I'm so excited to do. It feels like so many years coming. Oh, I'm so excited. That is, my friends, I am doing my Booktubeathon TBR. The reason why this feels like so many years coming and why I'm so excited is because just due to pure chance, for like the past three years, I have not been able to participate in any Booktubeathon in the winter, in the summer, and it's purely because of like, I'm moving, or there's finals, I'm on vacation, or I'm, I'm just not around, and I've never been able to participate in so long, and it makes me so sad every year, I have so much FOMO. This year is actually no different. The dates are July 30th to August 5th. Fun fact, the movers come to pick up all of my stuff out of the Chicago apartment on August 1st and I will be moving into my new apartment on August 4th. So yeah, I'm technically also moving in the middle of this booktubeathon, so in theory this could have been a year like no other, but I decided to say no fate, no moving. You are not gonna stop me from participating this time. So long story short is I've decided to try anyway. I probably will not be able to vlog my progress because I'm gonna be filming a moving vlog in the process of everything. So I'll definitely be sharing updates to my reading progress probably in the moving vlog that I'll post after I move to New York. Um, but I just really wanted to challenge myself. I mean, my TBR is absolutely bonkers. <laughs> But I just really just get into the spirit during these readathons, and I'm actually gonna be in the car a lot, uh, riding from Chicago to Buffalo to New York, and we're not gonna have internet for a few days, so like, what is there really to do anyway but read? Uh, that being said, all this babbling aside, this is my book Tubeathon TBR. I'm so excited to try my best to participate in the, in the way I can, which is going to be like here and there, like trying to carve out time to read, but regardless, pumped about the challenges this year, pumped about my TBR, and I'll leave like information about the readathon down below as well if you're interested. There's some really amazing hosts this year, and the challenges and the videos are always so much fun to watch. I love it. Ariel always does a fantastic job. But anyway, without further ado, let's dive into my TBR. I am doing six out of the seven challenges, I'm pretty sure. So the first a uh, challenge or to decide the first book you're reading, um, let a coin toss decide which book uh, you're going to read. So for the coin toss to decide between, I am letting it decide between Salt of the Sea by Ruta Septis, which is a harrowing World War II historical fiction novel, and The Dollmaker of Krakow, which is another harrowing historical fiction World War II novel. I did, these are two books that have been on my TBR for a very long time. Both have similar uh, settings, so I figured I kind of let fate decide between which one I will pick up for this readathon. I'm gonna say Salt of the Sea is heads and the Dollmaker of Krakow will be tails. Is the coin? I don't know if I've ever done like the flicky thing before. Whoa! Oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh, why can I not? I can't do it. It's tails. It's Tales. So that means the first book I'm going to be reading for book two -thon is The Dollmaker of Krakow, which is set in World War II in Poland, and it's about a doll that I believe comes to life. I've heard really great things about this. I bought this a long time ago. I'm excited to finally pick it up. The next challenge is read a book about something you want to do. This can be interpreted in many different ways, and the book I picked actually is two things. Um, it is A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. I want to one, reread something and reread this series, and two, I would love to visit England because I've never been there and this is set in England and the 18th century or the 19th century. This is a novel I've already read and really enjoyed, I want to say four years ago. In fact, I might have read it for the first book to -thon. This is about a young girl who's in a boarding school and supernatural things begin to happen to her. It's the first book to a trilogy by Libba Bray, who's one of my favorite authors. I've been meaning to reread this for a long time, so I felt like now would be the perfect opportunity. The next challenge is to read and watch a book to movie adaptation. I decided to go with Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. This is another novel I have been meaning to read for an embarrassing amount of time and I've actually never seen this movie which is an Academy Award winning movie with Keira Knightley. I feel like this is a pretty short book so something that'd be pretty uh, apt for a readathon and I uh, know that Clay really loves this movie so I'm pretty sure he'd be excited to watch it with me post move so I felt like this was a was a good 
a good choice. Next up is read a book with great on the cover. I went with Shadowfell by Juliette Marillier. This is just a YA fantasy novel that's been on my shelf for too long. I'm actually feeling like I'm running low on my YA fantasy. Um, which is kind of feels good. I feel like I've conquered a lot of things on this shelf recently, but this is something I have been dying to pick up. I've heard some pretty good things about it. I believe this is like a true classic kind of medieval fantasy setup. Young girl has magic. She's kind of thrown into the politics of the realm. All of my favorite tropes, to be honest. Juliette Marillier is a very famous author, and I've been meaning to read something by her for a long time, and this has a lot of green. Next challenge is read a book with a beautiful spine. I went with The Dread Tale of Prosper Redding by Alexander Bracken. This is another book I have been meaning to read for a long time. It's been on many, many, many TBRs, and everyone knows how much I love middle grade. Plus, the spine is quite stunning. It has this like antique book feel to it. This is a dark, uh, supernatural middle grade novel about a young boy who's been possessed by a family ghost who is only desiring revenge and Prosper Redding's trying to just get this ghost out of his body. Again, I've heard really great things about this. Um, I love kind of quirky dark tales and I feel like this is going to be really fun. And the very last challenge that I'm going to partake in is read seven books. So the last two books I'm going to show off are first off The Queens of Fenburn by Kendar Blake. And this book consists of two novellas that happen between um, One Dark Throne and Three Dark Crowns. The third book comes out really soon, so I felt like now's the time I really need to read those novellas so that I haven't gotten to it yet. I feel like it's pretty well known how much I love this series by Kendar Blake, so I think I will fly through these. I'm usually not like a novella person. I don't know why I like very rarely read novellas between book series, even if I love the series, but uh, I've heard good things about these particular ones, so pumped to pick them up. And the last book that's on my readathon list is Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. This is kind of, if I haven't finished it yet, which I don't think I will have finished it. I'm about halfway through right now and I have quite a few books I still need to get uh, through at this point in the month. So I feel like I'll probably have like one or 200 pages by the time the readathon rolls around, which I feel like is a perfect amount to get through through the readathon. So I'm gonna add this to the list as well. This book is amazing. My true love in life is this book series by Brandon Sanderson. Um, Shallon is my favorite. I don't know. This series is so good. I'm so happy I'm finally reading some epic fantasy again. It just feels so right. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that is my Booktubeathon TBR. Let me know down below some books you are reading for the readathon if, if you are participating, as I would love to know. And I'll see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye!